Why did we have to bring the government of Canada to court to get them to treat First Nations children fairly? Little kids. Why would it ever be okay to give a child less than other children? One of the non-Aboriginal children that we work with said, discrimination is when the government doesn't think you're worth the money. So what would it feel like if you weren't worth the money? Canada has an obligation to First Nations people. And this great country, there is no room for discrimination or racism. There's no room for that in this country. And Canada has an obligation to First Nations people to rectify the wrong and remedy the situation. Remedy the need that's there and rectify the damage that's been done. And to all those young children that have gone through that system, that failed system, over the last number of years, we want to assure them that they're not forgotten. You know, we lift them up and honor them for what they had to endure in that failed system. That's something we want to make public. We want to, to ensure as well that there are equal services on reserve because that's what this is about, the discriminatory funding practices. This is about equality. This is about ensuring that there is equal investment, and it's not just in terms of money, it's in terms of outcomes, that we create the space in this country for every child to be able to succeed. So um, for me, and I know for our entire government, we are not surprised with this decision. This is the place in time, and it's matched with a commitment from our government to ensure that we sit down uh, with the Indigenous peoples across this country. We ensure that we create the foundation and move um, towards a nation-to-nation -nation relationship with Indigenous peoples, but there is also things that we can do right now, and we're committed to, uh, to looking at that.